Hi, I'm Ted Bollinger with TVS Pro, and in this video we're going to be comparing the UHD 65 from Optima versus the UHD 60 from Optima. We've had a lot of requests to see how these compare. We'll be looking at color, contrast, brightness, detail, and motion, both calibrated color and uncalibrated color. So first we're going to look at color, and to do that we have to look at the white point or white balance, usually referred to as D65. This is out of the box. This is uncalibrated because they're the same manufacturer. They're fairly close. But take a look to give you an idea of what differences this makes. We're going to take it down to the bright mode. This is where the Optima on the left at 30, let's say 3,000 lumens versus the Optima on the right, the 65, which is at 2,200 lumens. This is where they are rated, those brightness, which realistically you would not really want to watch an image in this mode. Uh, text would be fine, PowerPoint, if it didn't have photographs would be good, because as you can see you've got a lot of yellow energy on the left, and on the right you've got a lot of green energy. So we're going to put these back into vivid mode, and in vivid mode what we'll see is a re resemblance of white balance, and what I'd like to do is play some skin tones on these so that you can get an idea of how the two out of the box compare relative to color. And because the eyes are very sensitive to skin tone, this is a really good way of, of being able to compare those. Keep in mind um, that the image on the left is using a different color wheel altogether. It is not an RGB, RGB color wheel. On the right, that's one of the things you're paying for is you're sacrificing brightness for color. Okay, so now we're looking at these in the reference mode, as you can see, and they're both calibrated to the reference mode as close as the two projectors will allow us to calibrate them in that if we go one increment in any of the colors for the bias and the gains, it will be way off. So they don't match exactly, but that's as close as you can with these two projectors because they both have different color wheels. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at some skin tone. And the skin tone differences you're going to see are because of the color wheel more than the color temperature. So I'm going to roll this footage. And I do want to mention at this point this is being shot with a professional camera. This is a C300 Mark II. And we're shooting in log, so we should be able to capture the full dynamic range and more closely approach what our eye is actually seeing. And the question is, are they different? Yes. Um, the saturation on the right, the color is going to be uh, richer, uh, that's because it's using a red, green, blue, red, green, blue color wheel. On the left, you're using a color wheel that has red, green, blue, and cyan, and yellow, so it is capable of being brighter, but the interesting thing we found is when they're calibrated, the 65 is actually brighter. The next thing we're going to look at, and that distinguishes these two projectors, is contrast ratio. The UHD 65 is rated at a higher contrast ratio than the UHD 60. Is it real? Is it really there? So the first thing you do after, as part of the calibration is to set your, make sure you're not crushing whites and you're not clipping black. So here you can see our black levels. We have the pluge pattern on screen and you can see that we're, we're able to see the 4% bar but just barely able to see that 2% uh, bar. Now we're going to actually move to a scene and in this scene, we're going to give it uh, motion here as soon as it locks up, and we'll put this into motion. What we're going to be looking at is can you see the difference in black levels in an actual image? And we'll roll this for a minute. Now we're shooting this, as we mentioned, uh, in log, so you should be able to see everything our eye sees or close to it, and we're shooting in 4K as well. So I'm going to freeze it here and have our cameraman zoom in, and hopefully right underneath the 4K, you'll be able to see the lanterns and the difference in the black levels. And those differences are real. It, it is not specsmanship by the manufacturer. We were skeptical, uh, but they are real. And you will also see this manifested when we actually get to the detail portion as well. 
but the blacks are, the black levels, if you just look at black levels, you don't really see it, but when you actually play a scene, and that's what confused us a little bit on one of the other videos we did against the Epsons, is the Epsons have much better blacks, but yet when you play an image, the 65 has a lot going for it. Now we're going to compare brightness. Right now you're looking at both of them calibrated, and it surprised us a little bit, but in some ways when you think about the color wheel difference, it didn't. When you try to calibrate them, when you put them at 6,500 degrees, the UHD 65 in reference mode at 6,500 is brighter. I'm not sure how much of that you're going to be able to see on the screen, but to the eye and to the measurement, uh, it's actually about 10% brighter. Now here's the interesting thing. When I put these both in their bright mode, not the brightest mode because that's green, but when I put these in the vivid mode, which is bright, and, and this is uncalibrated, uh, but you'll see an interesting thing happen. Now the UHD 60, as advertised, is definitely brighter. We measured it, it's about 20% brighter. But you do so at the sacrifice of color, as you saw when we did the uncalibrated skin tone. But on visual uh, scenes, PowerPoint, or this kind of material, it would be fine. Um, it's if you're watching movies and you and and you really want to control that uh, light environment, as most home theaters do, then that color becomes really critical. So this is going to come on again. I just want to to see just a little bit of this uh, because they they really do. Um, look close color-wise, even though they're not if you put skin tones on there, but you should be able to tell that the image on the left is brighter. So it does meet its claim in being brighter, but not if you go for accurate color. So I'm going to put this in accurate color now, and what, what is interesting is you will see the brightness exactly flipped. So there's vivid. Can you zoom in a little bit, uh, Jake, and we'll go down here to reference, and you'll see, well, of course it comes up on black, but here we go. Um, they're now both in reference, and the brightness has reversed. When you calibrate them again, the brightness on the right, uh, the UHD 65, is brighter if you try for accurate color. If you try for, for uh, non-accurate color, put a little blue, a little green, a little more yellow in the image, then the UHD 60 is clearly brighter. Now we're going to take a look at the detail in these. I'm going to freeze this image and we're going to zoom in with the camera. This is something that really surprised us um, because they both use the same DLP chip, um, which is a 4K actuator, meaning we, we are starting with higher pixels than 1080p, but we're also using the actuator to deliver 8 million pixels to the screen. But what we did not expect is what you are seeing now. The, the same resolution coupled with the higher native contrast. If you look here at this detail, and if you look at the detail here in these leaves and flowers and compare it with what we're seeing on the other side, we're hoping we're gonna be able to reproduce this in the video. It's, it's quite dramatic to the eye. Also, um, the, the, the whites are whiter, again, because we're both in calibrated mode. Here's another shot to help evaluate detail. Uh, we're going to move the uh, zoom in with the camera so you can see the actual detail um, is the same on these two chips, but that's not what it looks like to the eye. I'm going to put this in motion. You'll see the people are actually moving there in the background. This is 24p, or this one is 60p actually motion, um, and and to the eye, the right side definitely looks sharper and crisper. Part of it is the color wheel because you're getting more saturated colors and pure color. Part of it is the contrast, but it does make a difference, and you, you can see it at viewing distance where we are back here. This is the last scene we'll look at for detail, and hopefully some of this is going to come across, because to us, this was the most remarkable thing of this comparison. The, uh, the, the detail, because of the contrast, just pops, and the saturation of the color just makes a difference to the eye even though they're the same resolution. And that's why it's so important to always try to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, you, can, you can always um, read specs and comparisons and other people's opinion, but it, it, it always makes sense for us to try to do a side-by-side -side because there are differences. Now we're going to take a look at the motion compensation. This is one of the areas where the projectors are very different, as you can see on the screen. 
The UHD 65, which is on the right, has smoothed that out uh, with what they call the pure uh, motion, which is part of their pure engine processing. This is one of the reasons that gamers uh, may prefer the 60 because it's faster processing because it's not trying to get rid of that jutter that you see in the lettering at the top of the screen or you see it in the pictures down below. I'm going to go into the menu. We go into the image settings. We go to the advanced menu and there you see pure engine. I'm going to have the cameraman zoom in so hopefully you can read that because there's three settings we want to look at. We go down to pure motion and we are at three, which I would not want to watch a movie because it's going to look more like the news or sports or a soap opera. I want to go, uh, there's off, and that's too much jutter and very buggy. That in one is more like what you're going to see in a motion picture because even though the movies are shot at 24 frame, they, have a, they, they increase the refresh rate so that you don't see the judder to that degree, but there is still judder. And that's one of the things that tells us that we're being told a story. We're used to 24 frames. We're used to motion blur. If you put it in three, you're not going to get the motion blur that the director intended. So it's going to be personal preference, but for me, that position, which helps smooth it out just a little bit, but you still see that it's film-based because what we're looking at here is running at 24 frames per second. The conclusion is that contrast, color, and motion make are, are true differences between these projectors. It, it, it is not really subjective. Some of the things like the motion, that's up to you. Uh, so the, the 60 has its place. It's definitely more affordable. And for gamers, I think it's the way to go because it's an incredible picture, especially when you compare it to any of the other projectors we've compared in the past. Um, the color is not quite as rich, but if you have any lights on in the room, you're probably not going to notice that, um, especially if you don't have the other projector side by side. Um, the contrast is real. There is a real difference, and, and hopefully you'll be able to see that in the clips we looked at, and you can even see it in this one. Um, the brightness is brighter on the other projector. Again, you're trading off some color accuracy for brightness, but it puts out a great picture in the vivid mode. And uh, motion, yeah, it, it, you'll have to be sure and look at that when you play a, a normal movie at 24 frames to make sure that that jutter is not going to bother you. But motion picture um, cameramen are taught that they shouldn't pan the camera to where that jutter is a problem, but obviously they do in movies. So you'll just have to see if that's acceptable for you, but I think there's a place for both projectors. All of the differences that Optima talked about are real, they're there, and even some we didn't anticipate because the detail actually even looks better on the 65. So be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel, TVS Pro uh, channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.